Good morning, my name is David Harvey. I'm the Managing Director of WR Harvey & Company Antiques Limited. And here at the Olympia Antiques Fair, I want to show you a very, very special cabinet. This cabinet is entirely veneered in Kingwood. Kingwood was the most expensive timber that was available in the late 17th century. And this is what we call oyster veneering, where you take consecutive cuts of veneer, cut at an angle like that to produce an oval grain, you then take consecutive pieces and lay them next to each other like that, which produces this oyster veneer. You can see here these shapes like the inside of an oyster shell. This one veneered in roundels, spandrels, and with heart shapes everywhere. It has this wonderful muted golden colour on the outside as it's faded since it was made 320 years ago. Because this was made in about 1690 here in London in Ludgate Hill by a cabinet maker by the name of Thomas Peastor with this lovely wave motion going right the way across the top there in this secret drawer which just opens like that but as I say nicely faded on the outside but a sight to behold when you see the interior which has faded much less that stunning view is how the the whole cabinet would have looked originally. This extremely complex cabinet. And again, these oyster veneers of Kingwood all the way through. The interior with this door that opens. And inside there, there's another four little drawers. This would have been probably for keeping all the most valuable papers, coins, gold, diamonds, jewellery from a very eminent household. Because make no mistake, pieces of this caliber, dating from the end of the 17th century, were extremely expensive when they were made. This could only have been made for either a member of the royal family or one of the top courtiers living in England at that time. They would have wanted to show that they knew the sort of furniture that was currently available to the royal family by having a piece of this caliber themselves. You have the same work on the base too, with the roundels and the heart-shaped oyster veneers. A wonderful piece, in beautiful condition, showing the very, very best that could be produced using just natural daylight and hand tools, because, of course, there was no electricity back in the 17th century. So, 